Hi there, my name is John Stevens, pastor of Zion Lutheran Church in Oregon City, Oregon, and we're part of the ELCA, and welcome to Dollar Store Children's Sermons, where we take a look at the lectionary text and we tie them to an item from the Dollar Tree. This is for the first Sunday of Christmas and the narrative lectionary, and we're in Mark now as we've moved to there, and we're at the beginning of Mark. And so where I'm going with this is I am using uh, traffic cones. At the Dollar Tree, they have small little uh, traffic cones that you can get at the uh, in the teaching section, uh, the education section. Sometimes they have them in the toy section, but they're small little traffic cones. And or as my older brother, who does a lot of work with, he's a civil engineer and does a lot with uh, road construction and planning uh, highways and byways and all of that. He um, it calls them safety cones and how that the purpose of the cones are t is to direct traffic and keep us safe. That um, they're not necessarily um, a warning cone, which I thought they were, that it's like, here's this line, warning, don't cross, which I guess that kind of happens, but the idea is that they are safety cones to keep you safe. They, there's the line where you, they direct you and so that you know that if I'm following this line, I know that I will be safe. And I'm thinking in the reading about the word repent, that we hear about repent and we automatically, as adults, not necessarily as children, but as adults, we can put shame to that word repent. You've been bad, repent. And rather, it's like the safety cones, it's a direction. It's you're going this way and we see repent and it's like turn direction, do a U-turn, change course because the way you are going is not healthy and good for you. So you could use, um, you could use, uh, if you don't don't have safety cones, you can use painter's tape, and you can, you can direct, uh, you can do a path um, with that. You could talk about labyrinths, about when you walk a labyrinth, and about how uh, we we uh, pray and we go inwards, and um, but this idea of being directed, our paths being directed. And so that's, I'm using safety cones and talking about how the word repent is really a word that helps direct us in ways that are good for us and healthy for us. And it's not meant to be a finger wagging, you were bad, but here, let me direct your ways and help me. I, I'm helping you uh, live the life that is more, most healthy, um, most fulfilling for you. So I hope that can be a springboard for your own thinking. And uh, as always, thanks for stopping by. I hope that your Christmas season is merry and it is blessed. And But I appreciate your ministry and thank you for stopping by.